All right, I did a little little text file to first to talk about certain things. And the first one I will talk, the first thing I will talk about is a brief explanation of every attack of Samus. Let me just open the frame data real quick because I don't have every, everything in mind. But I will talk about every attack now. It will take maybe about like 10 minutes. It's like, see it as a brief introduction of Samus attacks and then I will go more in depth. So, first of the attacks is the Jab 1 and the Jab 2. The Jab of Samus is a pretty particular Jab, it, because it doesn't combo. It's probably the only, only Jab that doesn't really combo in this game. Still, the Jab 1 itself is pretty good. You can cancel it like that. And uh, it's pretty fast, frame 3. And it's after all the fast, fastest, fastest move of Samus. And if the enemy it's intended for things like maybe a combo extender like uh, for example uh, when when uh, let's say the enemy shields the charge shot I shoot with the ch I shoot him with the charge shot in, into his shield and his, his shield stunned then you may do another jab to keep the pressure going on the shield and there are other applications where there are com maybe combos where jab is the only fastest move where the cam combo keeps going. And uh, the problem is, like I said before, it doesn't combo into Jab 2. Jab 2 is pretty niche. Like, uh, it works. Did you know Jab 1 to Jab 2 does work sometimes? It works. You can use it when the enemy is in the air. A bit like that. Give me a second. Let's let her jump. Like this. Maybe it's not a true combo, but it's really hard to escape for the enemy. And it works really well. Anyways, the, the main point about jab, when you hit the jab, it's really important what you know what you will do after jab one. You have a lot of mix-ups. So the problem is the problem is you can't do jab two. So you have to you, you you have to play around it. You will do jab one, and then the best thing you can do is dash back. Dash back is safe. You if you if you time the jab the jab one to dash back perfectly, you are safe. And then it depends on what the enemy will do. There are, there are situations where they will shield. And this is my all-time classic. This is my all-time classic. And uh, if they keep the shield, or if they try to spot dodge and you time it well, you will punish the spot dodge like that. You will even punish a ledge, uh, a roll in like that, like that, and that. Because there's there's the space where she can roll in and you will you will punish that too. Anyways, it's only one of many mix-ups because there's also the possibility the enemy, because he's scared of the grab, will jump away or, or spot dodge maybe in the right moment. Let's say I will jab one, I condition him to to get grabbed, then he will try to spot dodge the, wrong way, uh, the right moment and then you can do after this jab one, you dash back and then you jump in with an air, like that. Or you can do this, jab one, two down air. And that's a big combo starter. So it always depends what the enemy will do. You have to condition him and do so he does certain things. He they might also jump. When you when you jump, you do this. And cover it with the fair. Jab and then fair. Okay, this is this is to the jab. So don't you only use jab two if you think the enemy won't shield. That's also a mix-up. Like just like this. It works if the enemy is pressing buttons. And then you just jab to him and you will hit him. Jab 2 can also kill by the way. So okay, first off jab. The next the next attack is the tilt. The, the forward tilt is frame 8, a pretty slow tilt. Was in the previous game way better, but it still has its applications. I will talk later about charge shot combos, but for example, charge, charge beam. The kind of this stuff, it wasn't wasn't true at this point. But uh, the pivot boost after is something I can recommend. Also something like if you use there, there into after like this. This is sometimes a true combo. And the best thing about after is the range. The, that's that, that's that's the reason why you should use the after the range. And please consider the down angled down tilt is stronger than this one, and also the up angled one. They have some good uses actually. And the down angled after can also lead to tech chases. 
And it has a tipper. Don't forget about the tipper. The tipper is stronger. The down angle and the up angle are stronger. Okay. Let's talk about the down tilt. The down tilt has more or less the same range as the F tilt. And the good thing about the down tilt, it's one of my favorite grounded moves. Why? Because down tilt is, besides the jab, the fastest move on ground. And I really love to do it to throw it in after a spot dodge, for example. And there are many other applications, like the enemy is hanging on the ledge, and I don't know, okay, I can punish him, then I run up and do this, and it's really, really fast. And the hitbox is really good. You can also do like... If you're, if you're not sure if uh, another move will connect with charge shot, I, you just do this. And that was a combo, right? With other moves, it would not have been a combo. Simply, down tilt is good because of the good frame data. Be, but be careful, it has large startup like the F tilt. Both are pretty punishable. The up tilt, up tilt has some really good uses. It's it's frame, let me see, it's, uh, it has a startup of 15. But that's okay, because it's you can see it as a kind of anti-air. If you know the enemy will go in with an aerial, you may kick them away with that up tilt. And it's especially good, I love it at the ledge, if the enemy is hanging on the ledge and doing this. The ledge jump, up tilt is perfect to cover it and it kills super early. If you know, the enemy will grab the ledge like this, without any invincible frames like this. You can also up tilt them. But also with the buff now, then it's down smash too. Anyways, be careful, up tilt, also ki kinda punishable on shield. Let's go to the dash attack. The dash attack has a frame startup of 8. Let's say if you, if you want to dash attack like this, you have also to consider the dash at the start. So it's, uh, it should be more or less 9 frames until the hitbox comes out. Dash attack got a nice buff recently and it's one of Samus' main killing tools. But be careful, if it gets shielded, it still has a lot of lag. It's also punishable. If you notice, one of Samus' biggest weakness are the normals are all pretty punishable. Anyways, dash attack with being now a good killing tool. Basically, it has it has um, two different hitboxes. The hitbox at the start in the middle and the one at the end. This is the one at the end. This one is a bit this one is a bit weaker. I, I, I think that was the strong one actually. Like, this should be the weak one. No. I underestimated. Anyways, it's it's just hitbox at the end, like that. Yeah, that was the weak one. And all the other hitboxes are now really strong and can kill. It can uh, dash attack is really good to get in to punish landings, to get combos with charge shot, or to get some surprise attacks in. So the forward smash, consider the forward smash has three angles. Is frame ten one of the fastest F smashes in the game? How much do you depend on down tilt? I depend quite a lot on down tilt. I use it a lot. So now uh, back to back to the F smash. It's it's really fast. It has it has the sweet spot and the sore spot. The range is sadly not that good, but it compensates with the with the speed. There are some situations where you can use it out of shield, for example, or to punish some leggy moves. You just bam, and you give them a frame ten F smash. It can make a difference. Or you can punish the landings like this, you run back and F smash them while they get in and you whiff punish them with an F smash and the hitbox of the F smash is surprisingly strong. Anyways, there is also something you need to know. The up angled F smash is way stronger than the normally angled F smash. So if you have the chance to hit with the up angled F smash, always go for the up angled F smash. And the hitbox is also different if you may be closer to the enemy like this. The chances are higher. You will hit them with the up angled F smash. Always go for the up angled one. Because if you are that close, with the normally angled one, you won't get the sweet spot. The the down angled F smash I'm I try to use probably at situations where the enemy is lying at the floor. And uh, you can hit them like this. But usually I don't use this one. I use this one if maybe if they have also a landing like Pikachu with his back air. Do it. You you have can only hit the back air landing like of Pikachu like this. Okay, let's go do the down smash. 
my favorite buff so far. It's really, really good for tech chases. Like, something like that. You do Nair to, to down smash. In this kind of situations, they usually only have a few options to escape. It covers... In this kind of... Nah, it's not not a good person. In this, this situation, the Zeus DSS could only escape the down smash by taking away. All the other three options get covered by down smash. I can recommend it using there, just with the courage of the back hit. The back hit now is really strong, the forward, the forward hit also pretty good and it's really really... I can recommend the down smash at the ledge, like this. Just look what angle the enemy goes off stage and it leads to really easy edge guards at times. I can recommend it a lot. And can even hit, hit hanging enemies if they're hanging here and they, they don't have any invincible frames. You can hit them like that and they die. I just published recently a video on Twitter about about the down smash. All right, let's get going with the up smash. Up smash is a pretty niche move. The problem is it's hard to hit enemies. Like Pikachu for example, small characters, you won't hit them at all at the floor. That's one of the biggest problems. But you may do some tech chases or, or on the platform like that if the ZSS is standing here. You may hit and, and now she has to get up. Right in the moment where she gets up, you can cover everything like this. It's still pretty inconsistent move. Sometimes it just lets you down. But don't underestimate it at up snitch. It got a huge knockback buff and it can help at times. Did you know that the hitbox of the up smash, she has a hitbox inside her body. And that can cover ledge rolls or normal rolls whenever the enemy is inside me and that happens if they have invincible frames like on rolls they're, and they're right inside me the up smash will hit them here on here in her chest she has that hitbox and she can even punish small characters like that the rolls and they are consistent if she hits the enemy with that con with that hitbox the up smash is actually consistent please keep that in mind all right let's go to the aerials First, let's talk about my, maybe my favorite one? No, no, not, not favorite one, but I start to love this, the Nair. The Nair is really good. It, it leads to some comments with down throw and it's really, really good for, for uh, edge guards. Hitting, like, hitting them like that off stage. The second hit is actually like, you can see it if you go off stage like that. The second hit may hit them, but still send them into the, into the direction of the blast zone. Try to implement the Nair. For edge guards, I recommend it. It's also a good um, tool to shield pressure. Did you know that? If the enemy shields like that, you fast fall, do near like this, and if you are doing it properly, you can do a jab right after the near, and it's safe on block. They can shield wrap. That's really a really big thing. Uh, just be careful for some upy out of shields there. The fair is one of the one of the main tools of Samus. To keep her anti-approach game going, like if the enemy is jumping like that, fair fr fr frame six. Uh, first of all, it's a pretty fast move, and it's really really strong. And the main main thing to use fair is to catch some jumps, like this. Imagine the enemy is grounded like you. You pressure him with an up, with an charge shot, like this. And he will jump away because he doesn't want to hit by ja by the charge, or he doesn't want to hit by a grab. Then you do this, and I can assure you, the hitbox of the fair it starts like this. It's perfect to catch jumps. Trust me, guys. Always try to catch these jumps with the fair, but be careful. If you don't hit them with the fair, you have some landing lag. So there's always a bit of risk. I am enjoying the guide so far. It will get way deeper soon. I will just talk about general usages of the of the aerials. The back air. Let's talk about the back air. The back air has uh, the back air is good to keep sometimes enemies away when you when you are facing the with the with the back and they run in. You can back air them, but be careful. This is only a mix up. This can be. It has quite a range. It's uh, frame frame nine. And it can also lead, you can also use it as a combo tool. If you hit it, if you hit with it, 
Um, with the down air, you you can use it also as a combo tool like this. And see how strong it is. Every backer is every backer at high persons will literally kill. So I can recommend the backer for for killing, but it doesn't have any any real applications in neutral. It's more like a. You, you use as a mix-up or uh, to uh, surprise it or surprise with it to use to use combos with it, right? It's not really a neutral tool. Please keep that in mind, like like Nair or, or Fair. <laughs> but it still has its definitely its uses. Upper, upper. I think upper is one of the best moves easily. It is frame five. It's super fast and it has so many uses. I wrote it up because there are so many. I probably even forgot to do so to <laughs> i said it does the laundry yeah it also does the laundry it is approaching tool imagine the enemy is here and you just run into this shot up upper it's an approaching tool it's it can even beat um it can even poke the shields of the enemies if the shield is small keep that in mind and it leads to some great combos like this but i will talk about combos later more but it combos into itself, for example, like that. Ah, not like that. Like that. It's a it's it's a ladder tool. You can ladder. You can cross up when they when they when they are uh, when they are shitting like this. And you can you it's you can kill with it actually. Also, at really high persons. It's a good disadvantage tool. Did you know that? Because she hif shifts her hurt box, and it's a, like a combo breaker tool sometimes. If they try to combo you, you do upper. So keep that in mind, guys. Upper is really good. I will talk about the upper later too. It's also really pretty consistent hitbox. So with the, the down air, the down air is uh, a, a tool I personally don't use too much in neutral, but it can be it's pretty surprising disadvantage. It can it's a good combo starter, and it's obviously also a spiking tool. It's frame, the downer is frame 17, so keep in mind it's pretty slow, but it definitely has its uses. And it can also auto cancel like that. The Zare. Zare is actually, did you know that Zare, if you if you um, hit enemies on shield with the Zare, it's only minus 4 on shield. It's the safest aerial Samus has. So if you do it like this, you are pretty safe, did you know that? Even safer than the Nair. Nair is only... There is only uh, min minus five, but there is minus four, and there got way better now after after the buff. It does like some decent damage, especially it can kill off stage now with the Zer Tipper, like that off stage that kills now. So it became a combo. It's all a really good combo tool now. It's it got way more consistent with combos. You can do stuff like this. This is probably the easiest one. You can do this to dash attack, uh, to, to down smash, you can do F tilt, you can do F smash. But keep in mind, the higher persons, the easier it is to combo with there. When you fast forward, it's really easy to combo with it now, when the enemies are close. And it's a good keep away tool. It's one of the zoning tools actually. So if the enemy is standing on the platform or here, you try to mix it up with the charge shot and all her tools. And you use there also now for zoning, even more after the buffs. Let's talk about the specials. The missiles are a bit niche, they are slow, but they have its uses. The, the homing missiles, for example, can, can be used for test chasing or lower the shield of the enemy and uh, lead, lead to some more pressure. If they're, if they're in a kind of test chase situation, you, do, you, just, you just shoot and even if they shield, they have some problems. And then after shooting a super missile into their shield, you can follow with the super missile and uh, Go in with a an, with an short up upper, for example, to poke the shields. And the homing missile is actually pretty good if the enemy likes to camp on platforms and stuff. And did you know also homing missiles leads to some combos? If you shoot it in the air like this. I will show you. And you're far away. It's really easy to combo like this. Keep that in mind, guys. Yeah, drag down. There is pretty safe on shield, yeah. The drag down of upper is pretty... Pretty, uh, yeah, the drag down of upper is not good. Actually, Samus uh, has, is in frame disadvantage. I don't recommend it. Only if the last hit hits him. 
Do you accidentally missile when attempting to be reversed sometimes? Yeah, I do. It happens to me. So, let's talk about the down B. About the down B, it's had tons of uses. Down B, it's had so many uses. How do I start, guys? Let's talk about the morph ball animation. Not, does not, let's not keep the, the bomb in mind first. She gets a good aerial drift like that. And it's really good to get out of disadvantage like that. And it's good, really important for recovering. You can do this, or you can do this. Samus Mans will already know about it, obviously. Oh. <laughs> and then, um, let's talk about the bombs. She also, her box is also smaller, and sometimes she doesn't get hit by stuff. Keep that in mind too. The bomb gets out actually at, let me see, let me see one second. It has a startup of 33 frames. So at the start, when you use the down beam, keep in mind, the bomb is not active yet. If the enemy is right next to you, he may just rush in if you do it like this. He can just rush in at the start and dash attack you or something. So always use it when the enemy is a bit more far away. And then it becomes actually a decent neutral tool. You can set up traps. You can you can uh, force. Uh, you can probably make them fall for it and start the combos with the bomb. Bomb is in general a really great combo tool. You can do so much. I don't know where to start, guys. You can do this. You can uh, you can set it up for ledge trapping. I will talk about ledge trapping a lot later. You can use it for edge guarding like this, and you can do so much stuff. It's one of her best moves easily. I will go into in depth later about the bomb and now one of the other moves really good and really strong the up b frame 4 did you know it's one of the one of the best out of shield options in the game it can punch tons of stuff i recommend to you to implement the up b into your gameplay but be but but be careful the up b is also risky like if the enemy is pressuring you but he spaces his aerial and he's standing with something like that you miss and you get probably punished you you may escape sometimes to the ledge and not get punished but it won't happen if you're up in here maybe you can escape to the platform but you're always in disadvantage so always try to use up B always when they misspace the aerials or when they're when they misspace their grounded moves go for the up B guys it's broken but it's important try to not overuse it try to not Use it as a habit, otherwise you get baited and then you get punished. But if you use the up properly, it's one of her best tools out of shield. So, use this. And it can, uh, it's also actually a combo tool and it can also kill with the ladder. And for recovering, for most of the attacks it's actually pretty good to recover with that. Like, like this. If you go deep down like this, you, go, you do, won't get punished often in many matchups. It's hard to punish it, but there are some attacks which can punish it, so yeah, it dep highly depends. I think all all up is really good and important move. Okay, uh, I, what did I forget? I think the grab. The grab is uh, pretty slow. It's frame 15. The dash grab is even frame 17. They have the same range actually. And uh, there's a technique I'm working on recently. Because the, da the, the normal grab is two frames faster. Try to do this, guys. Did you notice? You can run, and while you're running, you can trigger the standing grab. And that grab is two frames faster. Please remember this, guys. I think this is pretty huge. And I'm st uh, I'm not sure, I I'm not using it yet, but if you're running like this and you want to punish them, always go for the standing grab. It's easier to hit with it. Anyways, grab is pretty slow. The, it has tons of range, especially the pivot grab, guys. Look at that pivot grab, it's insane. But also the normal grab. I think, no, I, I'm not sure if the range of the pivot grab is higher or not. I'm not sure about that, but the grab is so, has such a good range. Only to frame that as a problem. Try to not miss the grab too often, guys. But it's an essential kit and she has, because she has condition. When, when enemies get conditioned to shield, you have to go for that grab. And especially the down throw is a combo starter. I will talk about it later. And 
of course, the up throw now being a kill throw. And F throw and back throw are pretty good at mid persons when down throw doesn't combo anymore. You may just throw them off stage, maybe. Down throw may even kill sometimes, but now up throw is probably always the best option. Okay, guys, I now talked about every move, if I'm not mistaken, except one, of course, the charge shot. So, let's go to the next topic because I have a whole damn topic about the charge shot, guys. <clears throat> and I actually forgot something important about the comparison of Samus versus Stack Samus. I forgot that one. I sh maybe should have done it at the start before I go to the charge shot because that would take a long time. Let's talk very really fast about Samus and Dark Samus, the differences. What are the differences of Dark Samus and Dark Samus? So, did you know that the role of Dark Samus is three frames, has three frames less end lag? So if this with Samus, and that one of Dark Samus is just three frames faster, but it probably compensates because Samus stays in her morph but form longer, and she may not get hit anyways. That's one of my theory why, why Dark Samus has a better role. And really important guys, the F smash of Samus has a slightly more range than Dark Samus. Like that. Maybe, maybe Dark Samus wouldn't, it wouldn't work now with Dark Samus. Huh? huh? Maybe like that it wouldn't hit, hit with Dark Samus, but it's really, really slight the difference. And with that, and Dark Samus instead, has a better up up uh, up smash hitbox at the start. It's deeper. Take if you want to test it, guys. Pick Diddy Kong in training room. Just stand in front of him and do up smash. Samus won't hit him, but Dark Samus will. And another thing, really huge, the charge shot. It's probably the biggest difference. The charge shot of Dark Samus is a bit deeper than that of Samus. It she may hit some characters like Pichu easier than Samus. Like that, but Samus has a bit higher, so she may hit characters who want to jump, may hit them easier, or who are airborne. Samus roll a longer distance? No, the distance is the same. Yet yeah, it's the beginning of my guide, J-Band. What's up, dude? Already half an hour gone, and already talking about the, the standard stuff. Anyways, there will be a lot more. Uh, yeah, so the, the difference are pretty minor of Samus and Dark Samus. Some people say the up smash is a bit more consistent of Samus, but I'm not sure about it. The main difference is the charge shot and the roll, and that I forgot to tell that. See how Samus is becoming a, a ball in the air, her hurtbox becomes smaller. Dark Samus instead is doing that Spider-Man pose, and the hurtbox is way bigger. And I remember how in that kind of pose in the air, I won't get hit sometimes by, by things, while Dark Samus will get hit. Also, Samus, Samus' hair box on the ground is a bit smaller. She's a bit smaller than Dark Samus. These are the main, these are the main differences, but they're really small. There are some, there's also some difference where Dark Samus, uh, for example, hits some enemies hanging on the ledge, and Dark Samus doesn't. But it's only a bunch of characters, like five or six characters. Like that, if Dark Samus shoots that, she may hit some characters more than Samus. So all in all. I think maybe Dark Samus is a tiny tiny bit better than Samus, but Samus at least has this nice hurtbox shift in the air, and I like it. I, I just play Samus out of sympathy. Okay, I covered that one. Let's go to the charge shot, guys. And there is so much to talk about the charge shot. The charge beam is the main, main zoning tool of Samus and the mo main movement tool. There's so much you can with, do with, with the charge beam. It's not even the char charge beam, the, sh the, the projectile itself. It's, it's the way how she charges it. It got a huge, 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 huge buff from the previous games. Um, you can do, you see all this stuff, what I'm doing here. This is some kind of movement you can do to mix up your, your game and to bait people out, to, to improve your movement, to surprise them. To, to, to keep the movement going is really, really, really important with Samus. And you can do the B reverse. This is the B reverse. How, you, how do you do the B reverse? You do the B reverse by looking into a direction, pressing B, and then immediately while looking to the right and pressing B, 
you uh but looking to the right you you go left you you press the control stick to the left like this press b then left and you get that momentum and i can highly recommend it you can use it like this on a platform and go down and suppress the enemies like this let's say let's say they're here you're doing this and they get scared and shield you can cancel your charge with a grab did you know that like this and it's really really fast you make them scared you charge they, they are in front of you and what don't want to get charge shotted and yet cancel it into a grab it's a really important mix-up guys what can you still do out of the charge? You can cancel the charge in the air, like this. And you can uh, cancel the charge also on the ground, like this. You, 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 you'd cancel the charge in the air just by jumping, like this. You can also do it grounded. It just jump, it's easy. It all, it's only two, four, a few frames, like three or four frames of lag. Then you jump. How do you cancel it on the ground? I cancel it on the ground. I cancel it on the ground by pressing shield. I, I have shield with, on X here. When I ch charge, I just tap the X button like this. And it's really easy like this. And it's really important to keep the movement going. You can you can charge in front of them and then just let go and you make them scared but you can do something else then you start dashing you can be really really creative with cancelling out your charge guys and keep in mind um keep in mind that uh you lose all this movement stuff when it's fully charged then you can like you can do the movement but you 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 have to shoot the charge so I have a video which explains how to make turnaround B, reverse B and wave bounce. Are you okay for sharing the link here? Yeah. Sure man, just share the link dude. It's fine. Um, I've also forgot about another tactic which you can do which is movement based. Is this one, the wave bounce. This is the B reverse. Okay. And before I go to the wave bounce you can also just turn around B like this. There's three, three, three different things. The normal reverse B, uh, like, like the turnaround B, the reverse B, this is the reverse B. This is the turnaround B. It has also its uses, for example like that. Okay. And uh, then, if you combine the B reverse and the turnaround B, you get this. This is the wave bounce. It's basically a B reverse while sound still looks into the direction, into the same direction. And it has some nice applications. You can bait out people, you can cover tech chases with it. You jump in front and they may think, okay, oh no, he jumps to me, then I will roll into him and then you bait him out like this. And then you shoot him. That's one of the applications you can use with the wave bounce. What is your controller setup? My controller setup is basically the, the X shield, like this, for the charge, and I jump on L. This is basically it, and I have tail stick. This is basically it. Okay, and uh, let's go. Let's get back to the charge. So, how do you do a wave bounce? You do the wave bounce by pressing, actually, you, you, you face right, like this, and I will do it like that. You go forward. And now, you you press uh, left, then B, and then right. This is your input you have to do. I can do it frame perfectly. Like like, uh, but it's basically if you press like this, you press left, B, and then right, and 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 it has to be. But you just just watch. I can't explain, don't, can't explain pretty well, but just Google Wave Bounce or, or um, Master just shared the video. Yeah, they will explain the input really well. But it's just a matter of master memory, guys. <clears throat> 
So I think I covered all that movement stuff with charge shot. You can do some nasty stuff with the wave bombs, like to go off stage like this and shot shoot them. Just an example, guys. Oh no. You can you can do wall jumps to get back to the stage. You can mix up. You can do many things like this. You can't even do some crazy stuff like um. Let let's pretend. Uh, mm, let's do it like that. Uh, I will make her attack. Side smash. You can do stuff like this. Wait. You land to the ground. Ah, I have too much damage. Okay. Still too much damage. That was what I was talking about. You, before you land, you can charge and then immediately cancel it. This is this is like a really specific thing I try to learn currently. Let's see. Let's say for example you are getting test chased, but um, you 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 have the chance to to press B right before you land, right before you land. You're forced to tag or to or to use the or, or but instead of tagging, you can sometimes do the charge, like right before you land, and you're in that tumble animation. You press B, and when you land, you press shield immediately, and like this, you can move super fast and act out of the disadvantage really fast. You can also do it with Nair with Becker, cancel it with Becker, but actually, this one is the fastest one. If you if you press tap shield right before you land, it only has like two or three frames of luck because it starts to cancel already in the air. Did you know that? Then you don't have any lag at all, like only two frames. But be careful if you press shield too early, you get an air dodge. Did you know that, guys? And it's really really good. Sometimes for texture situation where you just go down with a charge. You can also, of course, after a charge, when you land with a charge, you can also immediately spot dodge or immediately roll. That's also pretty... Is there a spammer? Do we have a spammer, guys? Look the chat, there's a clown joking about 11.9. Okay, how do I ban him? Is this this Dwight Angley guy? Okay. Alright guys, sorry about the interruption, man. <laughs> I think I will, I will, I, I already know what people I will do mod, but extra drill, yeah, I think I will take care of the mods later, another day. But I'm already starting to see which people are often in the chat. And I will gladly make you mocks mods, guys. <laughs> so sorry about this guy. I was not. I was so much into the guy that uh, I didn't notice this guy. <laughs> okay. Let's get to the charge shot. I think I covered everything now with the movement based charge animation. And it gives you so much freedom guys. It's, it's so much freedom. It's a bit like Cloud in Smash 4 where they, you just pressure them by charging. And they feel like, oh no, I have to approach. And then you can do everything out of the jump. Also when you charge and they come from the air, you just do this. You jump and upper them as an anti-air. Yeah. That's that this this is this kind of things. So Samus's movement is really really important. You can do tons of stuff. You can also wave land. How do I do with a wave land? It's by air dodging like this. At this height. And it's you can do a lot of crazy stuff with the charge and the wave land. You can also air dodge. 
like this is also a movement option. Sorry, I'm also talking about movement. Charge shot and movement, is, they're so mixed together, so they're basically the same. You can charge, you can even charge and wave dash like this. Pretty sick. I have to use that more. Do you know that? That's pretty cool. Do you know of Samus Becker's slide cancel to grab? Yeah, I actually know that. That's also a kind of... You can actually do stuff like this. This and then can auto cancel with the back air and then you slide. Or uh, stuff, stuff like that. Yeah, that's the slide, right? You auto cancel the back air and then you get the little slide. That's also a nice movement option. Thanks for pointing out Joe's place guitar. So Samus has a lot of small but really, really cool things to move. You can also do this. <laughs> but it's more like of a play tool, but you can also do some funny stuff with the Zare to mix up your movement. Samus' movement is really, really deep, guys. There's so much Masberry, some stuff I even forgot. Be creative, with, especially with the charge. You can do so much with the charge. You can, also, she's pretty good at dashing like this and also keeping a bit of pressure going. Okay, let's get back to the charge shot. I've noticed you rarely fully charge your neutral. Why is that? That's a really good question. Let's talk about that. Um, the charge shot, um, fully charge shot, like the, all these movement options I was talking about, you lose them when it's fully charged. This is one of the reasons. Like, no, you not lose them, you still have them, but you can't use them properly. That is the first reason, but the second and way more important reason is the following. This charge shot was not fully charged. And you can, by the way, you can cancel your charge shot like this easily with the X button too, with the shield button, because you don't want to have it full often. Anyways, that was the combo, right? And was not fully charged, just nearly fully charged. And now look at this. No chance. No chance to do the combo. And this is the main reason why I never fully charge it. At least at low persons. The reason is she has way more ant lag when shooting. Just look at the difference. I shield now. It's way... Shield comes out way faster than... There's way more lag. It feels like I'm doing a laggy Ganondorf F smash. That's why I don't like the fully charged one. But of course, the fully charged one has its applications. The, f the bigger the charge shot, the faster it is. That's the first reason. The bigger it is, it's the second reason. Even though with these two reasons, there's nearly no difference with the nearly fully charged one and the fully charged one. But it's actually stronger. Not only a bit, but a lot stronger, this one. It can kill surprisingly early. And there's also another nice mix up. If the enemy is shielding and you have fully charged one, let's say he's uh, shielding the bomb, and then you shoot with the fully one, the chance are way higher that you will shield break them. These are the two applications fully fully charged one killing, shield break. I can't think of another reason. In usual, I hate to have the fully charged one. I can't bait them, I can't move. I. and. I have way more lag when shooting. It's also just as strong if you charge it to 99%. Like, uh, I, I think, I think uh, it's not that, that strong. Like, it's, it's for sure a bit stronger. If you want an indicator of the next to be full, it's when the charge shot is entirely hiding the blue circle of Sam's arm. Let's check that out. Some master suggested it right now. The blue circle. Oh, did you, did you see that guys? The blue circle disappears and then it's fully charged. That's a really nice advice of master sayings. I didn't know that. That's really nice. I don't know if you already caught that up, but which is the least leggy way to cancel the charge in the air? Um, like if you're landing like this. You can press 
Press the sh tap the shield button right before you land. This is the fastest way. But if you're on the air, the only chance to, to uh, cancel it is by jumping. And if it gets fully charged, you can immediately act out of it. Quick, do you have a routine for training mode? This is sadly this is not the right time to take talk about my training mode. I'm do, I I'm uh, talking now about the guide. Anyways, uh, where was I? So let's talk about the charge shot combos. And thanks to the not fully charged one, Samus has so many applications to combo with. She can basically combo with always. Let's take a rule sum. Sum. The lower the person of the enemy, the bigger your charge beam should be, excluding the fully charged one. Then like you can do stuff like that. With the fully charged one, zack, that's a bread and butter combo. I do a lot and it's 50% for free. It's really really good. At higher persons, you need a charge shot like this. And then you can do check, do check chases like that. Or even true combos. This is a true combo. Let's go, let's let's put her at higher persons. And there's so yeah, you can do basically do charge shot into many imagination. You see? If the charge shot now would be too big, it wouldn't combo anymore, but now it, it still combos into grab. That's pretty crazy, right? Oh, that, Oh, okay, that was not a combo. It's pretty hard to to always know when is the perfect charge charge size. And it's even a kill setup. It's a kill setup. You can do you can do some sick stuff like charge shot at high person into into down smash, into F smash, or one of the easiest kill setups. And which is the bread and butter. And I tried to, to stay practical in this guide for you guys. While charge shot and add to F smash to backer, they all exist and they're really good. But what you want to do are things that, that you can rely on. And this is something you can rely on. And this is one of my most common kills I do in tournament. It's so good. But also there are a lot of things you have to consider. There are also uh, at this kind of persons. Like this pivot boost F tilt. What I recently stopped doing. Like that. It can be really good sometimes because if the enemy goes off stage after the charge shot, you go you can chase them with the F tilt because the range is really high. And I try now because the dash attack got buffed, I try to keep fresh my dash attack. And I only use it when it's a kill setup. Like if I'm at this person's and I hit him with a charge. First I went for the dash attack, but now I try to go for other stuff, like the F tilt, to keep the dash attack fresh, like that. And I hit him off stage also. And now, now the dash attack is fresh and I hit him with a dash attack and they die. So yeah, I do a lot of, at low person and mid person, a lot of charger to grabs to get that, to get that damage going. But also, if the enemy is in the air and at high persons, uh, at low persons, you can do stuff like this too. Because then uh, you can grab them, for example, if they are jumping, if you hit them in the air at zero and they are jumping. This is also an important mix up. You can grab them there, so you have to go for an air or repair. Maybe even. Down there, who knows? Let's try it out. Ugh! That was not a downer. Anyways, that, that's not that's not the we shouldn't do that now in the guide. I'm really trying to focus on the general stuff, but you, basically you can do with charge shot a lot of stuff. I try my my main my main combo tools are F tilt, dash attack, grab. That's what I'm doing out of the the comboable charge shots. But of course, um, charge 
charge shot is uh, also in general um, a really important usual tool. Like if you you can you can whiff punish with it, you can move like this and whiff punish. Zack, you you move back, you move forward, and then you see the enemy is probably whiff punishing, and yet you shoot them. You see them, they're they're doing a uh, uh, certain hitbox there, and they're not hitting you. Try to punish them with the charge shot. Make them scared with the charge shot. It's one of your main zoning tools. It's really, it's by far the best move of Samus. And uh, ah, by the way, one little point out: um, when you're trying to combo with the charge shot, when it's tailed, it's way easier to, uh, way harder to combo with it. So keep that in mind. If you hit with the charge shot a lot, it may happen that you don't get the combo out of it. That's important. All right. I hope I I got I got the most important stuff about the charger. I, I could talk three hours about the charger, but I'm still pretty at the start of the guide. To so talk now with you guys about game plans, the classic game plan. Let's pick Lucina. I really like to pick Lucina for the classic game plan. She wants to get in with the sword, right? And what is Sam was doing then? She wants to keep away Lucina, so what is she using to keep Lucina away? And let's just imagine Lucina. And she's standing there with ZSS is standing. I will stand here, charge my charge beam, try to move around a bit, lay a bomb for example. Lucina tries to get in. Or let's say Lucina is maybe patient and wants to wait and see that you, will, that you shoot your charge shot. So you can shield it. Then you try to, uh, to, to pressure her. Poker was there. Poker was there. Shout a homing missile, maybe. Or uh, a strong missile. To make her come. She doesn't have anything. She can only dodge. But if she. You can even trigger her with, with this kind of things to jump. And then you can cover the jump with the fair. The fair is one of the main tools to cover Lucina's jump. And there are many things to, to trigger this. The mighty grounded moves, the charge shot. A, lo a lot of stuff where she may jump. And at this moment, you have to go in with the fair. If the full jump, if the full jump, or with the upper, if they if they are close to you and are landing, you do upper as anti aerial. So basically, upper and fair are the anti aerials to keep her away in the anti approach game. Anyways, she wants to approach you, otherwise she gets poked by stuff and uh, gets annoyed by the stuff, so she, so she tries to get in. I try to whip punch her, for example. She goes in with a fair. I go back and do this and whip punch her with a charge beam, for example. Or I lay a bomb and go a bit back and try try to make her fall for the down B. When she falls in a bomb, you can keep the you get an opening and you can punish her like like that, or with the charge beam, or with the grab, and you can do with the bomb into anything. And it's really important always when you when you play this neutral against characters who, are, who have to approach you. I recommend that anti-approach game. Just don't approach only. It's only good to keep the pressure going when you got the advantage. But I will t talk about the advantage later. So you have the charge shot. You have the, you have the, like fast aerials, uh, fast normals like like um, like jab or down tilt. Consider the parry. At, uh, characters like Lucina like to attack you with spaced aerials where you can't do anything. Then parry it and do it into S mesh, into down tilt, into imagination. If they try to move while while they're approaching. Try to run in sometimes, not only always run away. Try to, if you, they try to push you to the ledge, so you lose your uh, your options. Try to push sometimes in with a with a dash and shield. For example, if they try to space their areas and you dash in and shield, then you can punish them with an up B out of shield. Always consider you need a really good. You, you really need a really good uh, shield game with Samus against these kind of characters. You have to know when can I do up out of shield? When can I do upper out of shield? When can I do up smash out of shield? Narrow out of shield? Down tilt out of shield? I will just name you real quick the out of shield options. The up B is frame 4. So it's by far her fastest out of shield option, but always be careful. It has a good range, but it's not that good. And consider it with caution. The upper of the shield is actually really good if the enemies also miss space and are inside you, let's say. Or if they are not if they're still airborne and want to get in, you can surprise them like this. 
or with full health. I can recommend it highly. Up arrow to shield has really good uses. Then the up smash is frame 11 if I'm not mistaken. And it's pretty niche but you can punish stuff like that. Surprising. Imagine the, the ZSS doing jab on your shield. You can punish it with an up arrow to shield. Did you know that? Or a, a Palutena running in in you into you with a dash attack. You may punish it with an up smash out of shield and it's super strong. So in your in your game plan always Samus always needs good shield game. Always use an out of shield option when it works. And when the enemy is safe, don't challenge him. The only mix up I can recommend is following. Like like uh, they do, they do a fair. Lucina does a fair, standing here, and then she is scared of uh, of an attack I'm throwing out. Then I do sometimes shield grab out of shield. But shield grab out of shield is really fa really slow, frame 19. So please keep that in mind. But it's a mix up if they shield. Anyways, let's talk a bit. Let let's talk a bit uh, about the grab. Anyways, um, it's also part of the game plan because you have all that stuff. Uh, to keep her out, the charge shot, the uh, the fair and the up air, to keep her out in usual, the Lucina, and the bomb, and the Zare, and the Nair, when she approaches from the ground, and uh, sometimes she shield appro may shield approach you, or um, or tries to bait you out with the shield, and then in these situations, you also have to be capable of uh, grabbing, like, you have to know, try to Try to put it in your head, try to learn when loves the enemy to shield. And in these situations, you have to grab them. It's risky, so use it with caution, but it's one of the big skills of Samus to use to grab properly. They shield, grab them. It has tons of range and uh, it's, it catches enemies off guard really often. And the throws are really good of Samus, so it's really worth it to implement the grab into the gameplay. I recommend it highly. You have to beat shield with it. Otherwise shield will will uh, mess you up. Samus needs to beat shield too. But the grab's really not that bad. And like I said guys, use the standing grab technique. When you run, not dash grab, but this. It's better, it's two frames faster. Okay guys. Uh, let's get back to game plans. I think, I think I tried to try to explain what to do Lucina, what to do against Lucina in usual. But there are also un other um, other game plans. There are there are matchups where um, you can't rely too much or make them come. They force you to up that you approach. And one of these matchups is, for example, Duck Hunt, because. You have your zoning tools, but all that stuff gets beaten pretty easily by by his projectile. Charging is pretty useless there. It's only good as a bait and punish tool, and charging only puts you into problems. I just played recently today against Palutena. Thanks for the follow. Uh, I just played recently against Palutena. When I charge and my charge beam is small, I put myself in a disadvantage because she just presses neutral B. And I get punished, or or because the shield is coming. But while I charge, the, the shield is only coming out at frame five. Please keep that in mind, guys. When you shield, when you charge, it's harder to shield. You can cancel your charge, but still, it takes always a few frames. Okay, so charging might lose against some stuff like like other projectiles. When your charge shot is not full enough. Ah, I also forgot to mention when you charge and shoot. The frame dart is way better. The charge comes out way faster while when you shoot like this. That's that's what I forgot to mention before. So anyways, characters like Duck Hunt force you to approach. And that's where the, these are the situations where Zamis is actually not that much of a zoner anymore. It's three frames to shot to shoot while charging. That's really not a lot, dude. That's really good. Damn. Yeah, this will, this is like a super long guide, damn. But uh, it doesn't matter, guys. I hope you're just enjoying the guide. 
Uh, I will upload it anyway in many parts if necessary. That's fine for me. Yeah, I will. I, I will upload it. Okay, another game plan is like bo the boxing game with Samus, and she's actually not that bad at it. She can actually run in and shield against Duck Hunt, and uh, she she her her out of shield options like with uh, jab or down tilt are actually pretty good. And you may punish some leggy moves of Duck Hunt when you get in. And one of the best you have you have to abuse the stage control in some in some uh, matchups. She is really good. Let's let's get to that coverage topic. While because sometimes you have to to get an opening, you can't rely on your anti-approach and zoning game in that sense of. But you have to gain stage control. You gain stage control maybe with poking a bit, going into the enemy like that, like this. For example, the game starts. They're like this. You poke them. Now you have stage control. Samus is in the middle of the stage. The enemy is on the platform. You know, you know. Okay, I want to keep the advantage going. I have to pressure him. You may, you may try to cover the uh, the, the platform. Try to punish him while on the platform with a fair, which is covering a lot of stuff. Or with up air, or there's, or or with up air. Or did you know if the enemy is shielding, you can do the area born up be like this. This are just some ways to push the advantage state. So let's get back, like this. And then you, you need to guess what the enemy will do next. Is he shielding? Maybe he will jump, then you, you try to cover it. Or you just stay on the ground, wait until he lands. And when he lands, you upper him on the platform. Or he lands on the ground and you dash attack them. Or you dash grab them. Samus is really good at abusing the advantage state. And this is something pretty non-typical for a zoner. And this is what Samus makes really, really good in advantage state. She can, she can do tons of damage. While keeping the advantage, just rewatch today the uh, the Palo against the Palutena player I played today. I I kept a lot of lot of stuff doing because she's so good at keeping advantage and coverage and the coverage because she can uh, she can basically for example the enemy standing here and I'm standing here and charging. You know he's in the shield and is scared. You have many options. You can grab him. You can you can hear and and shoot to punish his spot or his roll or his shield drop. If you know he will jump, you 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 always have to focus on the enemy. J just imagine the enemy standing here. Try to push it. Try to push it. Always in this today, I always try to push my advantage state. Don't run. Don't run away when charge like this and give him freedom to get back. No, it doesn't. It's not even a game plan against Dark Hunt. It's a general game plan. I will always do. Always. I, I would always recommend to every Samus player. Samus can be really aggressive when she has a bit of stage control. Always keep that in mind. So, she's standing here. She will jump, fair them. Or, the, the shield is low. Go in and short up upper them to shield poke. Grab them. Shoot the charger to make him scared. Lay a bomb and wait, wait for what he will do. Lay a bomb on the shield. Lay, lay a bomb here to cover the roll, lay a bomb on the platform to cover his jump. You can be super creative and you have so many tools to keep the advantage going. Okay. And it's it's really in this kind of matchups like that can't don't try to write on to rely too much on the charge. Use the charge as, as a movement option like this, but don't charge like this. You only get into trouble and you give them stage control. If you're like this, nah, and the enemy just moves freely. No, walk in, see what he will do. Try to try to punish his movement. There's like, especially in the air, when the enemy loves to jump, always up there, always, always fair. When they're in your range, you can just run in and see what he will do. And if he stays grounded, then it gets a bit harder, but you can still just like uh, walk like this. Sometimes surprise him with a dash attack even. It's also a good mix up. To if they want, especially if they want to approach you and don't think about it, you will just rush in with a dash attack. Okay. Okay, I hope you're enjoying the guide until until now, guys. I think especially the advantage part. I think that's my biggest strength with Samus. I think I'm not. Uh, I I don't like to say to myself I'm the best Samus in the world or stuff, but I may be the strongest one in this kind of thing, the advantage state, because I always try. To pressure, to cover, and to read what the enemy will do next. And to read and react together. Okay. Okay. Uh. 
let's get to a really important topic the ledge trapping so the ledge trapping is a really deep topic imagine the enemy is hanging like this he recovers like this and you are here you have you can do a lot of shit with Samus. she's probably one of the best ledgers maybe even the best ledge trapper in the game and one of the classics is for doing this the bomb here just on the ground because if the enemy is hanging and the invincible frames go away the enemy gets hit and he wants to avoid that so if you time it correctly and the invincible frames go away before the bomb explodes he don't have he, he does have to do something he may do a ledge get up option he may jump he may ledge roll he will may get up he will probably drop and do something like this or attack and if you time it in the perfect scenario samus covers everything no nearly everything nearly everything it's basically a 50 50. you lay a bomb he lets jumps he gets hit by the bomb he normal get ups and sometimes gets by gets hit by the bomb sometimes not but is forced to do a ledge get up before the bomb explodes and then he can get punished too or he may roll and if he get ups and jumps or neutral get ups at the right, wrong moment they always get hit by a bomb and the classic the real classic is doing this you, you know this meme lol got them gg it's this one because you cover so much stuff with it and they jump, they, they noodle get up, you just shoot the charge shot at the right moment. And even the ledge roll, it covers everything. And it's so, 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 so good. Even if they're hanging, keep hanging and they get hit by the bomb. Oh no. And they get hit by the bomb. You can charge shot them. Most of the characters, not all of them. Palutena doesn't work for some reason. But most of them then get into a hate of this. And then you can charge at them. It's still a combo. Bump to charge it. I got them GG. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. But you can do so much more on the ledge. For example, you don't have time to lay a bomb. And they may just get up like this. Consider. Please react to it. But especially at at the uh, kill kill person and you don't have a bomb ready or charge shot. Do the dash attack. It is out many frames, enough frames to cover the ledge get up pretty well. I can highly recommend it. Did you know that many ledge rolls, not all of them because some of them are really far, like Samus's one by the way, you can cover the ledge roll and the ledge get up like this. You, for example, you, you are standing here, they want to roll ledge roll, you do this. And it covers with the strong hit. The ledge roll and the ledge getter. And don't forget, dash attack is a, one of the most important killing tools of Samus. And it covers both. If you know they love to ledge jump and you don't have your bomb ready, or even if you have your bomb ready and they wait, and they have still invincible frames, and then they jump. You do this. Cover it with fair. Once again, cover the jumps with fair. Cover the jumps with up air. If they're in front of you, fair, fair, and they are off stage again. Sounds is really good at carrying the ledge jump. And even without the charge shot, she's really good at carrying every ledge option. And if you have time to set up your bombs, always set up the bombs, because they're just that good. There are also mix-ups like this. Or, or uh, this, two ones. Please keep in mind, it will only hit hanging enemies if you lay it like this or like this. But not like this. Because there the bomb goes a bit uh, above and uh, they won't hit hanging enemies. And so they will just keep hanging if they are smart. But you won't, don't want that. So you try to do it like this or like this. Okay. Uh, that's the ledge trapping part. 
like I probably even forgot to mention some things about the ledge trapping. You can be really creative here again. And she has tools to keep that ledge trapping pressure going. Down B, charge shot, fair, dash attack. Even more guys. De down, down smash. Yeah, a lot of stuff. You definitely the sounds with the best. Well, sure there could be relative unknown sounds. I mean, there's there are players like YB and Joker. They are they are also super good. So there's no need to argue too much. Who's the world the best sounds? Ever, blah blah blah. Whatever. <clears throat> a quick not an issue, but for the future you might want to increase the bit rate and see it's compressing slightly in the background. Okay, I will keep that in mind. You can yeah you can also use oh I forgot something really important guys. If you don't have a charge shot and you know Oh or no, actually even if you have a charge shot that's actually really really important ledge ledge setup I was working on. It's always this that thing what I mentioned before. You let a bomb here and basically if the enemy does uh, doesn't have enough invincible frames at high at high persons and he may get hit by the bomb, you can do this. This ah you light a bomb and it's a bomb to down smash combo and down smash now being buffed can get to really really early kills here and if you know okay they don't want to hit get hit by that because you will hit them when they jump or ledge get up or whatever and they want to roll so it's basically a 50 50 you will run in and charge you up smash and this kind of ledge trapping you use two buffs the up smash and the down smash to cover basically every ledge option because if you if you know he won't keep hanging like this he he he, he, he will get up because he is scared of your bomb to down smash setup he may get up and get hit by the bomb or he may roll in then you are standing here charge your up smash you cover you cover the you cover with that the ledge roll and even the ledge get up. When he gets up like this, he gets hit by the bomb and flies into your direction. And you have to charge your down up smash like this, and he will get hit by the last hit of the up smash and dies. This this kind of ledge setup is using Joker. The the the, the Samus player Joker. And together with, with this what what I discovered, I don't know if other used it already. Anyways, whatever. You you saw it before. You cover so much. Down smash, up smash, guys. It's it's another really really good ledge trapping trap, and basically 50-50 many times. And not really 50-50 because you may condition them. Because you may know what you will do. Maybe you love to hang, then you punish them. It's not only the charge shot, guys. With the bomb and the down smash and the up smash, you can actually kill them really early. But it isn't working against small characters. No. That's not true because the up smash, and that's why it works. The up smash, she has a hitbox in her chest, and uh, rolling, rolling in makes her uh, while the enemies they are invincible, and like this, it doesn't matter where you uh, you can run into their body, and then you do up smash because they they roll inside you, and then it's easy, really easy to hit them with your chest chest hitbox. And that's why you hit also smaller characters, surprisingly. And they won't fall out of the up smash, like this. One question if I have is if setting a bomb in the air and air dodging into it has any functionality. But I feel like that's something for the lab. Setting up a bomb and I don't know what you mean, Galway. A bomb and then air dodging? Did you figure out how Rage works with up smash? I, the, all, all I can say is that with Rage, some kill, kill attacks like up smash and up throw are way stronger. Okay. So there is one general question you have to always to ask yourself when you send an enemy off stage. Do you want to ledge trap him or do you want to edge guard him? And they are more or less more or less going fluid into each other. But there may be situations, especially after down smash. Like that. You may go. 
you may go off stage and try to edge guard him. And Samus has, has the tools to edge guard many characters, especially after down smash, after down smash setup and also but are other things. He has look at that Nair, it's so fucking good, really. Nair is so good. It's like the down smash in the air because it sends him into really bad angle and can also kill really early. Anyways, you have you have your fair like that. You have your charge beam like that to shoot them. You have you have the wave bounce like that. And same again you can be so creative. You have the bomb, of course the bomb. Like that. Like if I know they ha they only have one route to recover and they will go up with an uppy, I love to do this. They get hit by the bomb and then I fur them. And they die. What I love to do is also when I have a charge from their recovering from the air, I force them to air dodge with this and then I fur them. That's a frame trap. You can do so much. I love Nair. I absolutely love Nair offstage. And Samus, again, like a ledge trapping, like a keep an advantage state. She has so many good tools to keep the advantage state going. And get some really nice edge guards. And trust me, don't be scared. Try always ask the question to you. Did I hit no, when you hit him? Can I can I hit him off stage now? That does how many options does he have now off stage? Can you mix it up too much and I may stay on the ledge and ledge trap? Or do I want to go off stage and oh he has only one, two, three options to make it back? I will try to cover everything. Or I will go for that option. I'm sure you will go for that option and you go for an option, you near him and he dies. Nair is also really good to catch some deep double jumps like this. And they die and they die. Or they're recurring deep and you shoot them, zack, and they die. But sometimes it's not worth it to go off stage because they have too many options. The recovery is too good or they just get hit like they're only here and not at the blast zone. And then they have too many options to make it back. So always calculate what do I want to go for. If you think it's too risky or you want to hit them off stage, stay grounded. Stay, stay grounded on the stage and set up your ledge trapping. I also want to talk a bit more about the uh, about the platforms because Sam's is so good at platforms. I already I already uh, showed you the the stuff you can do with the movement stuff. Um, but imagine no, the enemy here is on the on the platform and it's maybe shielding. You can do some some crazy stuff. You can pressure them with uh, with the fair, which may if the shield is already low, shield poke them. Up air was also a great shield poke tool, but sadly after the change from patch 7 it's harder, it became way harder. Um, you can also mix it up and lay a bomb like that. And damage his shield and then go in with fair and then you get the guaranteed shield poke. And you can do this. And you can even go for crazy tech chases like that. You down throw them and then... You dare them. There's a lot of sick stuff you can do. You can even do... I don't use it myself, but... You can do stuff like that and then... It's a... It's a... It's a you get a free hit out of the missile. You can do a lot of cool stuff. She's really really good at test chasing on the platform when the enemy is standing in general on the platform. You can beat entirely the shield. You eat all the shield up with that one. It's a really 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 good mix up tool and conditioning tool with the fair and the upper you may also just go on the platform and pressure them there uh what what else is good for pressuring on tools i think these are the main tools also nair has two hits and also does decent shield damage have you ever broken someone's shield with uppy when they were shielding a ledge oh no i this is actually something i um uh, i need to do but i didn't do until now like uh, I don't know if, if if you can even shield break them like then maybe it shield pokes always Yeah, I think a shield poke the only character you can probably uh, shield break is Yoshi Because his shield works differently. You can shield poke Yoshi, but then it breaks But you can also yeah, this is also an, a cute little mix-up when if they shield here You do a beefy up B and may shield poke them Okay, I think I count everything for Samus in neutral. 
And advantage? No, I forgot one thing. I forgot one thing. It's combos. I will combo. I I will. Um, I won't spend too much time on combos. But there are still a few important things. Samus has also good combos for advantage state. And the classic one is that low persons is the down throw. At zero, I always go for this. Down throw up air. And then you can you get also a second up air out of it. And sometimes you can also fair. But up air to up air should be always yeah, only if the enemy maybe FD, SDI is like a god, then sometimes the second upper may not work. But be careful, this is a true combo if you don't have any rage and it's at zero. It's always a true combo. Try to buffer that upper short up. Because Nair at zero is not always a true combo. Please keep that in mind, guys. That's because of the reason that upper is faster than the, than the Nair. Okay. If you if Sam says rage, at zero I use down throw nair because that becomes a true combo, and upper not anymore, because the range of upper is not that good. But the hit stun is higher with rage, and the enemy flies away a bit more. So it's like you have ten or twenty without rage. Uh, the enemy has ten or twenty without rage, and you go for the nair. Anyways, everything which is a bit higher than uh, upper uh, zero at zero. Little note. Down throw to upper might also sing at higher persons. It just may not be true anymore against certain characters. Against heavies, it may still work. For bo against Bowser, upper works works also later. It also works if the enemy doesn't die away. But let's keep it practical. And these persons always go for the nair. And here again, how I'm doing it? I'm uh. After the down throw, I have jump on L. So what I'm doing is, this is the up air. I press both the same time. And I get a shot of up air, always. Little note, you can also full up up air, down throw full up up air, but it's harder. It's way harder, but it may lead to some uh, ladders. The ladder is also uh, an important topic. Maybe not too important, but... In some matchups, it may lead to some early kills. It's just basically up air, up air, and then you up air, up air, up air again. But I think I won't cover that too much now in this guide. There's actually a really, really good doc by Bors, who is talking a lot about the ladders. You can follow up with an up, it's true at zero, but some it's better to go with... Oh yeah, exactly, Rika, thanks for saying that. I I, um, I totally forgot to, to talk about it. You can at zero, of course, go for this. But I don't like the up at all. Because it's some guaranteed damage, but you lose your stage control. The enemy, if he's a fast roller, he may even get some frame advantage and punish you for that. And I like to keep it real. I, but you can also do this, by the way. This, uh, this works sometimes. This works sometimes. And the third up air. Did you see the third up air? I didn't get it now, but I didn't get it now. Ah, as maybe it's a bit hard on GSS, maybe I didn't execute it well. But you, instead of going going for the up P, maybe try to use the third up air. And if you see the enemy is too high, don't do the third up air, but land again and try to act really fast what the enemy will do next. Yeah, I imagined. Yeah, okay. Um, Mufasa is already asking about the fair. What do you do with fair? So I, I know this. Fair is a bit, uh, a bit of a... Bit of a move, down throw an air, fair. Some people say it's not that good. In my opinion, it's pretty good, but it depends also a bit on the matchup. The, mo the, the applications where I use fair are the following. These are the persons where nair doesn't work anymore reliably. Did you know, I already told you, the fair is actually faster than the nair. So, why is nair better than the fair? at lower persons. That's because of the hitbox. The near hitbox goes like this and the fair box goes like this. So if you down throw a ZSS at 10 
It's actually already too high. Let's let's get let's get up five. Yeah. No, that's not too high, but uh, it's more it's easier to visualize like that. Okay. Oh, that's pretty brutally down throw, don't you think? At this kind of hate, it's way easier. When when Sam is short hops now, she will she will be at the perfect. They both will face each other perfectly, and then the nair is better to connect. It's easier to connect because the hitbox goes like this. But the higher the persons get, the higher the enemy gets launched after the down throw. Look how high she got. If Samus short tops now, if Samus short tops now, the nair won't hit her. She may still get the nair maybe with full hop, but if she dies away, it may not be true anymore. What I like to do in these situations, that's actually a good good thing for the fair because the fair has a hitbox like this. And don't forget, the fair is even faster than nair, two frames faster. So. I go for that stuff. Oh no, I misinputted. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's go back again. Yeah, Absolute Christian is really cool. I agree with that. At 30, and in this kind of situations, did you see how? How fluidly the fair connects into into the down throw, down throw into fair. I I full hopped on accident. And in this kind of situation, when the enemy is like that, I recommend the fair. But be careful because there may be characters like CSS. If she dies away, she may get out, and the fair won't connect her. There are some characters like CSS. Joker and also others where down throw at higher persons may be too hard to hit already But in many cases the fair will work trust me down throw fair is reliable in many matchups not in every everyone and also always consider the rage guys when you have too much rage the down throw combos will stop working earlier It's very important So rule of thumb at zero upper a bit more than uh, 0 to 20, 30, Nair. Always considering the enemy the other way. Starting in 20, 30, use fair. That's what I'm doing uh, with the down throw. All right. Um, I already talked a bit of, the, I already talked actually about the charge shot combos, so, so I won't cover that anymore. You can actually do charge shot in terms of imagination, do tons of damage, kill setup, everything. The, another really important combo tool is the up air, and it can also lead to, co to letters. And it's a, a really classic, a really classic combo is also up air to fair, and it's so, 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 so good. This is, this is like a really, really great true combo. Another great combo start is the dare. And it can even is even a kill setup like that. The up tilt. If the enemy whiffs something and has tons of lag and he is a certain person and you are grounded, you may go for an up tilt because you get a true combo out of it and does tons of damage too. The Zer. The Zer is also so good. It um you can do now now out of the Zer if you shot of it like that. And the higher the person is the better. You can do down tilt, you can do down smash, you can do F smash, you can do up F tilt. Uh, you can do maybe even dash attack. There are a lot of combos you can do now out of the Zer when you hit them like that. And the super missile is also a combo starter. The more far away the better. And you can do shit like that. But I won't cover that too much. That this this are the this are all the combo starter tools of Samus. I won't go too deep into that because I think they're like the most simple things that Samus man can look up somehow too. Okay, I talked about the tonal stuff now. Uh, the last thing I will talk about now is the disadvantage. And I think the disadvantage of Samus is her big weakness. 
It's her big weakness. Why? She has, when she gets comboed, she has actually pretty good weight to keep getting comboed. And she, she is pretty, she, she has a great hate, she's her floatiness and she gets comboed really hard by some characters. And that's a problem. This advantage is really a problem, guys. The horizontal movement is also not that great, yeah. The the big saber often which helps you get off the, let's 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 say you're in the air and you want to get back to the stage. Of course, the bombs. You gain you gain some uh, airspeed like that. You you become slow and you set up some attacks in the air where the enemy might fall in when he tries to attack you. So Try to use the down B in a real smart way. But what I noticed, especially after all these days of Samus Steelers on Wi-Fi, I think many Samus players overuse the down B in this advantage. And then, of course, it becomes too predictable. The enemy may just wait a second and then attack. And then you got a problem. So down B is not like it's not like uh, it will help you to get back for free. Try to use it wisely. Okay. You can also use the B reverse or the wave bounce if you're like that. To get out of the disadvantage to, to um bait the enemy out and um you, you have to be really creative. So use the down B to get back from the air. Sometimes down air is pretty slow, but it actually it actually can surprise the enemy if you use it Sometimes and in a clever way. This is also good for this advantage. Please consider it's a pretty slow move. And then make use of the uh, air dodge, guys. The neutral air dodge. Do you use neutral air dodge into fa fast fall neutral air dodge? It's one. It's one of the best tools to get back into this advantage. Uh, into uh, into neutral from this advantage into neutral. Just like that, guys. Of course. It's all. It's also punishable. But if the enemy is jumping, uh, is jumping and wants to aerial, uh, give you an aerial, fast for air dodge, neutral air dodge. Try to do that, guys. Okay, Rika, you already got me because I I didn't mention one thing. The upper is also a really great tool to get off the advantage. Because she shifts the hurt box, did you know that? Like... Look at her body, and now... It's like... It's like... She, she curls up, you see that? She becomes first a, a ball, which is good. And she moves, she shifts her legs above. So, where the legs were before, her hurtbox is gone. And that's good. And it's frame 5. And it's a combo breaker tool. Like, not a, a pseudo combo breaker tool. Let's say the enemy wants to keep going his string. And, uh, and uh, he will do something which is not a real combo, but nearly a combo. You may upper. And you will get hit for trying that out. Upper is frame 5, guys. And you can use it also in a fast full animation like this. Nah. Like that, yeah. But also without fast full. So. I think these are the most important things in this advantage. Uh, yeah. I want to show you now something really nice. <laughs> which, which I do a lot. And maybe many Samus players don't do. And I highly recommend it. It's this one. You're hanging on the ledge. And you want to get back to the stage. But the enemy is keeping a lot of pressure to you. And he's really good at edge. At ledge guarding you, you may do this. No, not this. This. You lay a bomb here, you grab the ledge of there, and you get your invincible frames back. 
Look at that, I got my invincible frames. Just by touching the ground. Really shortly. And I even get my double jump back. Consider the enemy here waiting for you. Doing an option. Being passive. This is important. You have to know that he's passive. If you do it perfectly... You can even... You can even do this. Ah. And pressure with fair if they run in and do a bomb to fair. Or there. It's pretty crazy. You get everything back. And you feel way more safe suddenly. You can also do this. You charge the charge beam. And you go safely back to the ledge. This is something I started to use a few months ago. And it works. Really guys, it works. And it makes Samus disadvantaged while hanging on the ledge way better. Enemies get impatient and you are just like chilling there. Yeah, okay. And that's the point. They may try then to punish that because they can just throw the hitbox, right? To punish you. If they throw the hitbox, you have time to get back to the stage. You let roll. The let roll is really good of Samus. It's so long. Or you, you, they attack, but you actually don't use this. And then you can just fare back to the stage, for example. Another really underestimated... Uh, really something really underestimated. You heard it first here, guys. They shield and wait for you to do something. Footstool them. You can even do this. Keep in mind, you can also footstool them when they shield. And suck, you're back into a and into even an advantage state. You footstool them, cancel the footstool with the downbeat. And you're back. Try to be creative. When they when they overshoot at the ledge, use this upper frame five, suck, and you're back into the game. Try to be smart at the ledge. Wait. Just hang a bit. See what he's doing. Don't be too don't don't Rush it. Don't rush it, guys. Okay. Uh, what is still pretty special? You can also, if the enemy is here, you may also recover like this. Just go into the stage a tiny bit. Or like this. Or like this. If you do it perfectly, you only go forward a tiny tiny bit. It really depends on where the enemy is standing, okay? It's really important. If he's too close, don't do it. Every character has a different ledge trapping. Every player does it differently. The point is, I just show you the options, guys. You have to know how to use them. I can explain it to you how to use them, but you have to understand while playing when, how to apply. You have to fool the enemy, you have to mix it up, always mix up. Oh, I forgot to mention the word mix up. The word mix up is for some so important. Mix ups should be used everywhere, neutral, advantage, everywhere. Samus has actually quite a lot of options, so mix it up always, at the ledge or whatever, always mix it up. Uh, <clears throat> when, you're, when you're getting uh, edge guarded, try to stall it out with the down B. But this is something really basic. Just something to keep in mind guys. When you do the there, you have to be... When you press Z and you're floating to the left now, it doesn't matter that you're floating to the left. The first frames matter where you press Z. So you already have to be in a specific range to grab that ledge. And you can do some fancy stuff like that, by the way. And 
uh, what 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 is really important? Her hurt box gets really big when you do this. So be really really back careful. You can recover really fast to ledge, but use it with caution, guys. Sometimes it's better to do it this way. But again, that always depends. If you drop ledge to jump, shoot charge shot. Always either bomb then up B or there to recover. You can die from up being immediately. Always either bomb then up B. Okay. Uh, there's also another cool way to get back from the ledge. By the way, it's this one. I think the you you talked about it in the chat or something like that, right? Oh no! It's a really nice mix-up. If they are shielding close to you. <laughs> okay. Is there another? important disadvantage thingy going on a general disadvantage uh, advice guys a really really important one <clears throat> Samus has laggy moves yeah they all have a lot of end lag if you feel pressured try to not push too many buttons that's a problem of mine too like throwing out oh no oh no oh no he's hitting me again oh no leave me alone and I do up B when I'm when I'm getting stressed in tournament, this happens to me a lot. So, oh this, or I do this. Uh, I don't know. Down tilt. I use down tilt also a panic button of mine because it's fast. But uh, if I whiff, I get punched easily. Also, the charge beam. Overusing the charge beam can be a problem, guys. When you get pressured, try not to not to push too many buttons. Thanks for the follow, Comfy, and many other people started to follow me recently. If you get pressured, always stay calm. It's important for Samus, it's really important. You can't just hit some buttons like with other characters, maybe it's easier. But uh, with Samus, this it's really the hard part with her. Always keep a cool head and try when you throw out the hitbox in disadvantage only do it when you really believe you will hit him counter hit him otherwise try to make it back safely back into neutral yeah i'm just checking my text file if i got everything i think i covered now everything one last thing, I already mentioned that, but uh, there's one one interesting thing. So, like I said, when you're when you're getting hit, let's say by the F throw of CSS, and you're like in a kind of text chase situation, and but you can actually do an aerial before you land. You can cancel it with the back air. You only get the hard landing, four frames. <laughs> you see the back air? She cancelled it like that and then you can move immediately. Another thing, which is actually better, is using the charge. And then you can cancel immediately. Try to keep that in mind. I think this auto cancel stuff is also part of the movement, but yeah. Okay, um, did I cover everything now? <laughs> I think I got everything guys. What do you think? Did you like the guide? Did I forget something? Maybe maybe if you think I forgot something now in this nearly two hours. Two hours of talking about Samus and I would love to talk about the character the whole day. But then <laughs> it's not a guide anymore, it's a book. <laughs> 